welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to um, look at a puzzle based on recent events. So those of you who follow the New York crossword scene, the American crossword scene, you may, have, uh, you may be aware of this cartoon that appeared in the New Yorker recently. Um, the picture of Donald Trump saying, I'll stop calling you the enemy of the people when you start printing crossword puzzles that I can solve. It's uh, conjectured this may be directed somehow at Will Shorts, which I think would be extremely unfair. Um, and this has been picked up also by the British crossword scene. And um, again, some of you may not be aware of this, but Brian Greer, one of our very best setters, um, constructed uh, this little crossword here, uh, which he thought might, might be suitable for Donald Trump. Um, so if we just take a look at some of the answers here. Um, greatest person in history of civilization. I think <laughs> I think that's meant to be me. Um, and then what would be well one down Teresa with whom I have a special relationship. You'll notice that Teresa there. I think the answer to this is Teresa May, um, and I think that Donald Trump uh, or the White House spelt Teresa's name wrong in a tweet um, so there should of course be an H in there and there isn't um, so I think that's what Brian's getting at there so one down is May Mara or Ivana that's going to be X so three across is blank AX what I avoid at all costs well I think that's going to be tax <laughs> and then um, what's next logo on gold podium on 5th Avenue I think that's Trump Tower, so TT, and then that would give four across one of Rudy's predecessors. That's going to be Ty. Uh, was Ty Cobb the special counsel or legal counsel to President before Rudy Giuliani? Anyway, I think that's what's going on there. So a slightly um, tongue-in-cheek puzzle there from Brian Greer. And this got Mark thinking that uh, it would be quite interesting for him to set a, a crossword that Donald, well, in his opinion, Donald Trump would have no chance at all of solving. Um, so he suggested I might like to have a go at this. Um, so without further ado, let me see if I can get it on the screen. Um, this was the grid I've created. So there we go. So I think this is a cryptic crossword um, created by Mr. Magoo, which is the pseudonym for. Uh, Mark Goodliffe, um, so no prizes for guessing how he came up with the pseudonym, but Mark is Mark is one of the very best uh, cryptic crossword setters as well as a, the best cryptic crossword solvers. So I'm guessing if he thinks Donald Trump won't be able to solve this, it's either going to be jokey or it's going to be very very hard. So let's have a look. Me or my friend, six letters. Um, Trump. Trump doesn't fit. Um, best friend. No, no, no. Four across. Jose's players, Cambridge University set free. Jose's players, that must be Man United, mustn't he? Although Mark is so out of touch with football, he might think it's Chelsea. Um, Cambridge University set free. Set free is normally an anagram indicator, so. Man, man, oh, I don't know. I want to put man you or something at the start of that, but not really ringing any bells. Five across. Um, first among skiers, that must be an S, makes great strides here. Lopes, so slopes, that's surprising me. There's no Trump reference that I'm aware of there, but I think that is the answer. Let's put that in. Um, let's try and lose the letters. So two down, firm staff attending to Arabs. Well, people who attend to Arabs, it's going to be, I think, a uh, question mark there. Arabs are very often in crossword terms of horses. So people attending to horses, grooms, firms is often C, CO is often abbreviation, the firm is in company, CO, I don't know, 
be down. Surprising and tricky winner. <laughs> okay, well, there's Mr. Trump. <laughs> so, um, the question mark there is suggesting that it was a surprise that Trump won the election, but obviously a tricky winner in cards. You would win a trick with a Trump, or you might do. So, very nice clue. Uh, one down. Smart guy, one in part of family. Uh, Alec? Um, genius? Genus, yes, okay. That's going to be genius. It's going to be one, I, the letter I, in genus, which is a part of the family uh, in a sort of botanical sense. Um, so, that looks good. Let's try this one again. Me or my best friend? Uh, Two down, firm star pretending to Arabs. Ah, that could be stable. So I was on the right lines, but clever. Uh, it's quite clever that star pretending to Arabs makes you think like think that the answer is going to end in an S rather than being stable, which of course you know a stable contains staff um, who will attend to Arabs. So that must be right. Now right, here we go. Uh, me or my best friend asked, that's going to be the setter. The setter is obviously me, and then best friend can be a dog, um, so, and that can be a setter. So finally this one. How's, oh, Man U still fits. Cage. Oh, I think this is the word manumit. I think that is, I thought, I've heard of manumission. Uh, and Cambridge University could be MIT, as in the American version of Cambridge. Um, so I would go with manumit there. So I wonder if uh, Donald Trump would be able to solve this puzzle. He would have a head start because he is a genius and three down is his name. So be very grateful for any of you who know him. Um, if you could tweet this to him and see how he does, um, that would be fantastic. Make sure he pauses the video though when there's just a blank grid and the clues rather than at this stage because it's obviously easier to solve now. Um, so thanks for watching, some light-hearted fun today and we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic. I'm a very stable genius. We still have to figure out what's going on with him. He is the very model of a very stable genius. Of all the US presidents, he is the Mussolini. He learned a lot of things according to his Wikipedia and demonstrates his ample intellect on social media.